Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart Wii. In the last episode, we checked out the Leaf Cup. We barely made it through this one. We only got a bronze trophy in rank D. Like, we barely scraped our third place. Because it was, it was really difficult. But in today's episode, we're going to be heading over to the Lightning Cup. And I'm going to hopefully do better here. I think I'll be able to. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult, but I guess we'll see. So far, I've only had to redo one cup, which is the special cup. I had to do it twice. But, uh, almost had to do that for the last cup. Hopefully, we don't have to do that here. Hopefully, we can get this first try. Fingers crossed. Going with Yoshi and the standard cart. Pretty basic. But, hopefully, that'll help me. Because it's not, like... It's just, you know, it's pretty balanced all around, so it's, it'll be pretty easy to handle. I can already tell, it's kind of smooth on the drifting, but in terms of, like, just turning in general, doesn't seem as smooth. Oh. Oh! Yeah, hard to get out of a bullet belt on a turn. That could really mess you up. Whoa, she chucked that thing far. Ah, bro, what? Oh, wow. People go flying when they get hit by items. Absolutely flying. See ya. The thing about these blue shells is they actually just head straight to first place. Whereas like in Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart Tour, they zoom along the track so they can actually hit players on their way to first place. Which makes them a bit more deadly. Not as deadly here, though. Only deadly to people that were, like, in first place and close to first place. Okay. I don't know why that hit me harder than that, than the people in front of me. Ah, uh, come on. Everyone's too close. Come on. No, 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 no. Ah! No! No, 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 no. I'm doing that again. No way I'm starting off with 8th place. Absolutely not. That was a disaster. Like, first place and then we just get bombarded with items. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that.
Oh man, that was close at the end there. You know what? I'm actually gonna leave that in. I'm not gonna cut that out of the recording. Because that was a super clean run right there. That, that had like such a good start. The way I did those turns with the speed boost uh, golden mushroom, that was really good. I don't know, when you like just stay silent and focus on what you're doing, you always tend to do better. It's, it's so weird. Like you just focus in on something. Like when if I'm talking over something, then I'm kind of like just not as focused as I could be, I guess. And I end up doing worse. Like it's super weird. Like I'm so focused, just paying attention to the turns and the movement of my hand on the controller. Yeah, actually, I guess because you are multitasking, so you do perform worse when you're talking. So, you know, I might just be more silent and then I'll get first place all the time. I think that's how it works for most people though. Like when they play games and they commentate, they do bad and then they have to like stop talking and do like an actual good run to get it, to get the score that they need. This is a really nice, it's like a manor. Like a straight up manor with a garden. Very beautiful. Why did he stop? Like see right there, he was literally like a second away from doing a speed boost and then he just stopped. There we go, he got it that time. Oh wow, that, that really slows you down. You can't do a speed boost there. They really gotta focus up. There's a chain chomp there now. Pretty sure that only appears on this lap. No, 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 oh. Dude, the pal block and then the red shell. Oh, wait, wait. Yes. Oh, the blue shell came in clutch. I can actually get first place. Yo, let's go. I'm shocked. I'm doing really well right now. First place two times in a row. I came in clutch on the second one. See about this course though. A lot of turns. Might mess me up a bit. So I'm gonna have to be really, really careful. Oh, and I think that bridge shakes so you can jump boost off it. Or maybe you can't jump boost off it, but it does shake, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the grass is not off-road, that's nice. Ah, uh, bro, again with the pushing, now I'm in last place. I hate it when you lose speed, and then you try and like, do a mini turbo, and you can't. Not because I want the speed boost, just because I want to turn my car, and I can't do it. Pretty sure, are these jumpers? No, no they're not. Bruh.
Gotta make sure you don't run into the board boulders. Uh oh. Oh, didn't fall off the edge. Not oh, what in the oh. I'm doing so bad. My RNG's not on my side. Well, there we go. Yeah, you can't jump with just shakes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if that blue shell actually hit someone. Probably didn't, because they were in um the cannon. There, oh, there goes another one. What? I went in between those item blocks. What in the world is that? Why? So you can't jump boost off of like every little slope in this game. I didn't even jump boost there, what the heck? Turn, yep, nice. Woo! Second! Let's go. Can we do this? Can we come and clutch at the end? Oh, uh, ah. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Not if, not, if, oh. When you hit the wall there, it's impossible to turn. Okay. I think I just hit Bowser, but he didn't matter because he went into the cannon anyways. Good, we got an item. Suck on this red shell. Oh, dude, I just chucked that off the edge. What? I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, come on. We got this. We got this. That's not good. Oh, no. I hate that it removes your items. That's like the one thing I don't like about items like the power block. And the bullet fill when they hit you. Uh, uh. Dude, I cannot do that turn. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, dude, what? I tripped out on that. Okay. Third place. That's not that bad, but like, come on. I had that with the green shells. I could have totally hit someone with that. Like, who even threw that bomb? Come on. Ah. Uh. I'm li I literally have to redo every single course in this game just to get a star rank. That kind of sucks. Is that like a base in the back? There's like a there's like something pounding because I'm like I'm wearing headphones so I can hear that. That's loud. It's like a booming in the back. Oh, woo, woo, yo, I can't believe I just dodged that. Oh, ow, uh. It's interesting to see this in the original version because those were, um, Womps instead of Thwomps. Very different. Womps are blue only in Mario 64. Whereas they were never seen after that. Instead, we just have Thwomps. And they're even moving sideways. Actually, you know what? They do move sideways in other games. Dude, why did I throw that forward? I want to throw it backwards. It's really hard to tell when you have enough speed in order to be able to do a mini turbo again. See ya! Dude, the music here is nice. Has like a nice, like, not really eerie, but like, like I don't, I don't know what kind of vibe would that be? Like a final boss vibe. It's like chilling, almost, like impending. It's like impending. It's like you're in the final boss area, and you're making it through, and you're gonna be fighting the big bad guy at the end here. Like, that's really fitting, especially for, like, a Bowser's Castle. And this one, too, because it's more, of like, normal, where it's like an act- This is like an actual manor, as opposed to just being, like, a 
a bridge through lava like some of the other Bowser's castles. This is probably one of my favorites, actually. Out of all the Bowser Castle Mario Kart um, courses. Oh yeah, I know. Now we got the lava coming on these sections. Always miss with my green shells. Always. Nice. I thought I was not going to get that. Still don't understand why there's a thwomp in the cage there. Doesn't really make sense. It's probably just there, just so that people get confused. Oh! Nice, I got Wario off my back. Uh, nope. Whoa. Waluigi, no. I didn't hit Wall. I didn't hit Waluigi, that sucks. Come on, get him. Get him. Yeah, there we go. Suck on that. Okay, we got Baby Peach and Waluigi close behind. Oh, they're not close behind anymore. Something took them out. Walu's catching up a bit. There we go, first place. Pretty good, actually. This is one of the easier cups to do, surprisingly. Only five points away from a star rank as well. Just because we got third place in the last course. I am actually... I don't know. I, th I think I'll get sent a picture into my mail. That was a really cool feature about the Wii. Like, when you played any game, it would log the time you played it, what games you played, like or like what apps you used on the channel. On the Wii channel. Like, that's the default screen, whatever thing you picked out, because not all of them were games. And sometimes you'd get pictures, like, for certain achievements. Like, I know you got pictures from Galaxy, you got pictures from Mario Kart Wii. I think you got pictures from Wii Sports, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not positive on that. Oh, wait a minute, you can use a me character here. I wonder when you unlock that. I remember that, being able to race with a me character, if I'm not mistaken. And... Ah... Uh, okay, we get the end credits. This is some nice music. Still waiting to see if we unlock something, but we're definitely gonna watch these credits. General producer Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah. Oh, and of course, we have Yoshi leading them, because that's what I was playing as. This is some pretty chill music, as opposed to, I think, what's in Mario Kart 8, and then they carried that song over to Mario Kart Tour for when you, like, complete all the cups. This is much more chill. The Mario Kart Wii is probably, like, my favorite Mario Kart game. And second would probably be DS. For most people, I think it is either DS or Wii, and then maybe if they're a bit older, like Double Dash, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or the original or something, I don't know. Don't know too much about those games. It's pretty nice overall. I really don't like Mario Kart 8. I don't know, it's just something about playing the tracks. They get super boring really fast, maybe it's because I played it too much, but like, I don't know. And because there's two items, it's so hectic in Mario Kart 8. I guess in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, not the normal Mario Kart 8. Yeah, you know what? The normal Mario Kart 8 is probably much better. Honestly, that's probably why I don't like Deluxe so much, is because of the double items. I don't know if they tweaked anything else, because it just feels so super chaotic and hectic. Like, there's just so much item spam. Like, the CPUs are way too hard. This game, I really like Wii a lot. Very balanced, very nice. Feels like fair when you get in a certain position. It doesn't feel like you're being cheated. And of course the music's on point, because this is like around 2010. Like music kind of a little bit before and then a little bit after 2010. Such good music that came out of like video game, anime industry and stuff like that. Really good. I don't know, I guess it like during that time there's like a certain style that everyone used. 
Maybe because, like, advancements in technology before, like, you couldn't have, like, two big tracks. Like, you couldn't really put a lot. Like, for video games, the original tracks were, like, MIDI tracks or something. I don't know. But they were, like, super basic. Like, you couldn't use an instrumentation or something. Then, like, Super Mario Galaxy comes around, and they actually use, like, a live orchestra to do the music, which is just phenomenal. Like, all those scores were written so well. Of course, the same... I think it was for like all the Wii games. Skyward Sword, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, um, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Mario Kart, Wii Paper, Ma Super Paper Mario. Like, dude, there's such a good lineup on the Wii. I think this is a remix of Luigi Circuit or something? This definitely sounds like a remix. I don't remember what course it's for though. That's so good with the piano. I love piano. Piano's my favorite instrument. Anytime I hear something with a piano, it's so good. And they got like a wind instrument popping in the back there. This game would definitely be more chill to do on um, like 50cc or 100cc. 150cc is kind of a bit too fast, honestly, it feels like for me. So, I'm actually glad that this game does not have 200cc, that would be a disaster. Like, in Mario Kart 8, I can actually do 200cc very well. Like, I uploaded, some of the first videos I uploaded were like, 200cc videos. Because everyone was going around saying like, oh, it's so hard to do 200cc, and I'm like, nah, it's easy, like, you don't even have to break drift. But on the, like, the special cup, it's way harder. Yeah, okay, see, there we go. Oh, it's, it's just Mario Peach and then our me, which is just the standard player. But we get this little uh, picture, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we also get that in our mailbox, which is nice. I don't think you can do anything with that, though. Maybe you could have, like, popped it onto an SD card for something. I was super young, didn't know anything about technology. So, like, I didn't really get to experience the Wii and its full potential, like, all the different controllers you could plug into it and, like, the SD cards you could put in there. But, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, see, here we go. It actually asks us, do you want to send a commemorative photo to the Wii message board? Yes, I do. Here we go. If you send too many commemorative photos, the space allotted for data on the Wii message board will fill up. The Wii message board is full. The system will delete messages to free up space, starting from the oldest available. Okay. There we go. Congratulations, you have unlocked a large cart, the Honey Coop. Oh. Large cart. I'm assuming that means it's for like the bigger characters. So it probably specifies that when you unlock something. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. Again, I don't know what constitutes that. Maybe it's the, like in the, you probably get points, like the points you get for doing the races. Those maybe accumulate in the background and then you unlock stuff. I don't know. Because in Mario Kart 8, you get coins every single time you hit a coin milestone. Like it doesn't tell you but it's pretty obvious to figure it out. And you get, like, unlocks pretty frequently. But every time you hit a coin milestone, you unlock a character, um, on a character. Maybe in the beginning, but you unlock carts, gliders, and wheels. Actually, all the characters are unlocked. For sure, yeah. You don't unlock characters, which is interesting. So, do we get to do mirror mode now, or... No, we don't. Oh. Do I have to complete every single cup and every single CC to unlock mirror mode? Or just get like a star rank oh, yeah. in every single cup to unlock Crazy mirror mode? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I'm at the point now where I have to look up like what to do next. Should I? No. Like, I shouldn't showcase 50cc and 100cc. It's exactly the same. That'll literally just be, like, the same as these episodes. Like, I'm not showing off anything new. It'll be different because, you know, each race isn't the same. RNG and, like, the way you drive. My commentary will be different. But still, like, there's no new... That's not new content, so... I'm reluctant to do that. But that does mean I will have to grind off screen. To, like demonstrate a lot of the stuff I don't know I guess I'll decide when I get to that point but that is gonna do it for today's episode of Mario Kart Wii 
and I completed everything in 150cc. So I'll look up what to do next, and then I'll let you guys know at the beginning of the next episode what we're going to be doing. That's going to do it for today's episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.